You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, the homie. Yvonne hey. Orgy, welcome back. Thank you all. This feels love. Well, good Ye, morning. Yee is actually in Africa right now. I mean, my peoples. Where's she at? She's uh, she's in South Africa, Johannesburg. Okay. Well, ish. Yeah. My people ish. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's talk about you, Insecure Season 3. Season 3. But more importantly, you out, you out here living your best life. You got a new Live, bay. Living my best life. Okay. I see bay all over the gram. <laughs> And you know Charlamagne is a bird. He knew everything about Bay. He was like, he don't play football no more. He Knock it off. Football. That's not what I said. Oh, oh, That's no. not. Told me the team. That's not what I said. You got to watch Charlamagne. You standing? Okay. He asked me. He was like, what team you play for? I said, he don't play anymore. That's all I said. That's I it. Him, it was simple I as that. I didn't ask him nothing. He Knock told me off. the whole run that I said. I, I appreciate it. You don't know. Charlamagne is actually a really nice guy. Oh, thank you. And he wants me to be happy. That's all he's trying to say. He's like, black love. Hashtag it. That's it. That's it. How'd y'all got to meet? See? <laughs> I ain't going back and forth with you. <laughs> You're not going to get me this song. I'm not fooling with you. But he's on the gram if you want to see him. He's though. on the gram. He's here. He's, he's yeah. supporting. Hey, babe. Yeah. Go ahead, nigga. Swing, swing the camera around one time. Nigga. Boom! Hey, all right. That's it. That's enough. That's enough. All right. Goodness gracious. That's that, that's that uh, Mbaku right there. No, so <laughs> <laughs> we have watched! <laughs> Yo, yes. that's crazy you say that because Dro on the show is dumb tall. Yes, he I is. I didn't realize how tall he was. He is uh, like 6'9". Yes. Six, yeah, he's some, some stupid. So does that make it awkward when y'all doing your little scenes and stuff? Man, we, I have to be on the Apple box. He's like, and then they have like camera tricks when they cheated, and it's just like, okay, mm -hmm. we are gonna shoot it from this angle, and then Yvonne get on the Apple Box and step down without making it look awkward. I'm like, mm. bruh. Yeah, because I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, season one, no, season three, first episode. Yes. When he had you on the counter and he was giving you fellatio. See. I'm well, like, what? That's not how, fellatio. How tall? Fellatio yeah, I mean, Kungalingus. A guy is a girl yes, and a guy. My okay? bad. So, no, I'm so, so this is what y'all reading up on? No, this I'm is, just saying. I just, this, this, I thought, well, this, is, this is the Greek y'all took at school? I just this saw him last week, and I'm like, how'd he do that scene? He tall as hell. How tall is that counter? Well, he was he was on the, you know what? He cares because Charlamagne is so short, so he wants to know how he gets it, how he can get that. Charlamagne high. need a booster seat. Yeah, he need a booster hey, seat. hey, baby, can you can you get a, can you climb higher? How you get him so high? That's hey, what I reach, know. Let me get that ladder. Let me get that ladder. That's what you, know. you kneel down. Oh, <laughs> I was so oh, short and got there. All right. Any other questions, Charlamagne? No, I don't. The no, last time we seen you, uh, well, I seen you was uh, Chris Rock show. Yes, oh, I saw killed her. it. Yeah. Thank you. Now let's talk, talk about that a little bit. How was going on tour and? Doing them and doing them shows, huge arenas. It was bananas. We did Barclays after mm -hmm. um, after Madison Square, mm -hmm. and it was like what sixteen thousand people 16, 000, in the man. snow in Brooklyn. It was the last one, and it was like Christmas coming home. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, yo, it was like never in my wildest dreams. Because you know, I grew up watching Chris. I, mm -hmm. I I told him when I first met him, I was like, I still have your jokes on deck. Like, eh, excuse me, I was wondering. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. my, that's my jam. And so for him to trust me enough with this gift to be like, hey, just come open up. And I was like, has he seen me? Has Like, did he watch that? Like, I'm like, is there a tape of me? And he was just like, you're funny. Was it a lot of pressure? I mean, for me, because it's like, that's your idol. You want to yeah. do good. Um, and just, but I think he just believed in me so much. It's like, you know, when somebody else, when, when you know you got it and then somebody else believes in you, it's just like, then what you worried about. Right. So keep going. And he, he just inspired me to keep comedy at the forefront. I'm actually performing, what, this weekend um, in Raleigh, North Carolina. In North Carolina, right. At Good Nights. Friday or Saturday? Oh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A whole wow. weekend. So get them tickets. Okay. Okay. No, girl, why come through? I was laughing when you was at the garden, and I was also sitting there telling my wife, like, oh, she's going to kill with this material in Brooklyn, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you got mad. You like, how you haul them shake it in Brooklyn? <laughs> like, everybody no, calmed down. I was talking about, the, like, the credit card scam and stuff and all. <laughs> I was like, this going to kill in Brooklyn. <laughs> it's not us doing it no more. To other Nigerians listening, we, we don't do it no more. I know. I know. Nigerians are popping the, right now. The whites don't know They've been popping. No, they, they popping even more now. They've been popping. Music yeah. is popping. All of it. The, the night The life, Afro beats. Everything. We had DeVito up here the other day. I know. Mm -hmm. I saw. I mean, the, the thing about it is, like, before, nobody was rocking with us. We were African booty scratches. Now, everyone's like, ah, I took my swab, and I'm I'm 3%. Oh, oh you 3% now? Are you, you rocking with us now? I'm 97% West Nigga. African. No. <laughs> 
Because that's that's real. That's, that's real. That's that's what I. Your your test came back, Charlotte. But you are ninety seven percent home. Nigga. Grade A nigga. Just grade A, unadulterated, purified. Uh, you know, Charlotte made it out from the same tribe. One of them. Like, two from, of from them. Three different tribes. Two of them. We're from two of the same. In Nigeria? Mm -hmm. No, it's not Nigeria. I'm Sierra Leone. Okay. Guinea Bissau and uh, I forgot the other one. You better know. See how you gonna claim your people like ah <laughs> the mother like them other people that uh <laughs> but I mean they 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 rock with me heavy though yeah I forgot you think Black Panther had a lot to do with everybody embracing that Afrocentricness I hope so I think so I just think that like Nigerians also just come with excellence mm -hmm. so like whatever we do we gonna come at you and do it like even if we scam you it's gonna work it's, it's like you know like, whatever we do is gonna come in excellence <laughs> you know what I'm saying so when we're good we're good like even us getting into the World Cup a lot of people were like ah but y'all didn't win we we're like we didn't win. But was your team there? Like you all here talking about us, but we we made it. And mm -hmm. so I think just we're so loud and we're so proud. Um, you can't not recognize us. Um, and but then I think Black Panther definitely did help to this resurgence of like, hey, we are black, we are proud, we are Africans, we are proud, we're Caribbean and we're proud. And I think that's just the melting pot that America is. Just be rep your hood, rep your city, and. Just, be proud of that. Nigerian parents push their kids to be great. I had to get a whole master's degree before I could do comedy, bruh. Mm. I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing, like, I mean, I do philanthropic work so that my master's makes sense, but I can even bring up the word comedy till I was like, I got two degrees. Okay, I got two degrees. I owe Sally May a lot of money, bruh. Can I please now go do this other thing I want to do? And I know people who are in med school, like, ah, I got to be a doctor first, but I really want to do graphic design. <laughs> graphic design, girl, you could go do that right now. Mm -hmm. And they can. Have you paid Sally Mae back yet? All of it. She wow. she gave me a refund. Wow. I paid too much. I was so mad at that hoe. I was like, listen, <laughs> I asked you before I wrote this check. I said, how much about? She was like, um, I see here the principal balance and the like the interest. I said, I don't know what all these other numbers are, but how much do I owe you? And she gave me a number. I was like, ah. Yeah, you know, yeah. in the ah, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I had the decay made No, 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 no. <laughs> like, bruh. And then, like, a couple of weeks later, she was like, ah, you overpaid. I was like, when I had the conversation with you, lady, I asked you specifically. Yes. But give me my money. Yeah. I don't think I, w I went to that bank real quick. You, that's one of the few, you probably one of the few people in the world that would get money back from Sally I actually should have just not cast it and just framed it and been like, this is what happens when God makes your dreams come true. <laughs> the the hoes who owe you <laughs> go, yeah, go you, write that check. That's right. Uh, but I saw you did an interview with Stephen Furtick. Well, I did. We, that we, was so dope. We from the same hometown. I know. It was yeah. like three of y'all, and the two of y'all found each other. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, uh, he, he was in class with my wife, and he was always a dynamic speaker. That's crazy. Always. I asked with him heavy. Oh yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. I, 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 he's on speed dial. He's one of my past friends on speed dial. He like I like heavy. He be sending me script, prayers and scriptures, and they. And he's so me. real. He's so yeah. like authentic with it too. Yeah, I was I was wishing like I could make it to Charlotte while I'm out in North Carolina for real. Why don't you? That's like a three hour drive. Fly. If you're paying off a student loans, you can get a PJ. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> you can you, get a PJ. I, I appreciate you believing in he, me he so much. You student loans <laughs> to a private jet. Yeah, right? listen. Yeah, two years ago, I was broke. Now he's like season three. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real, got it, bro. Yeah. I just took the PJ, bro. What kind of life do you think I'm living? Uh, a, a good one. I'm trying I'm trying to get a house. He's, Your best one. He's hey. been on a private jet twice this year. <laughs> and right? Now you think everybody. One, Kanye flew him out. Yeah. And okay. the other one, iHeart flew him out. Ooh. Yeah. I heard got that money. So stop talking about money. You don't know nothing about no private I didn't say jet. nothing about the money. I just said I'm sure you can get a private jet. So you got the since you got the hookup, let me, I'll go. Hey, no. Furtick, you listening? I'm trying to come see you. <laughs> Send that bitch. I'll pay my ties. No, no, have, have your parents seen your sex scenes yet? Um you, at one point you said they weren't watching them. No, they no, they not no, they haven't. And they won't. In Jesus' name. So you don't want them to watch the show at all? No, well, here's the thing. I, low key, I, I would have been fine if they didn't. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I would have been fine. Because I'm like, my parents didn't watch shows. They didn't watch, like, a lot of TV. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they would, like, understand fully everything that's going on in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, my mom watched the first two episodes and was like, you're using such profanity. I did not raise you like that. I was like, but it's also not me. It's, it's this character named Molly. And she talked like that. Yvonne, Yvonne dog. You know, so like even trying to explain to her like yeah, yeah, yeah. the difference between like it's not right. really me. And so I was just like, even though like my sex scenes are probably the most tame in terms of like I don't really show anything, they really protect me on the show. I was like, they're not gonna get it. Um and then they moved to Nigeria and I was like, yes. Cut to they showing the show in Nigeria now. And I was like, 
they seem like I'm gonna find a channel, but they're not gonna find a channel. <laughs> like they're not gonna know. Then my, cut to my mom is like, she sends me a screenshot um, on WhatsApp of her watching the show, and I was I. Bro, I ain't never hit that uh, video call button so fast. I was like, hey, 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 what you doing? Uh, <laughs> yes, Mrs. So-and-so told us that it is on today at this time. And so we are watching. I was like, I need to call this aunt. She messed up my life. <laughs> she messed up my life. So now they got the, they got the show on Speed Dial. But I think season season two focuses a lot on, on Molly at work. So it's fine. Are you it's, still concerned with your mom and dad? Absolutely. I'm Why? African. Like, okay. you... You can still get beat at 85. No, like, stop, if, if they're still alive, no. you can still get beat. Like a backhand don't has to stop somebody. Like got that, you. got them no look backhand. Every African parent has, has done it. I'll be talking to you right now and be like, "Bam!" Ah, what is your problem? <laughs> like that's that's how we live it right here. So yeah, no, I'm still I'm still very much afraid of my parents. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah, they they can they can they can yes. I'm, I guess. That don't go away. Do you do you, is life like? Do you feel like the whole totality of your life, professionally and personally, is like lining up the right way correctly? I feel like God is is just melodies from yes. heaven, just raining down on me. Um, I don't know why you all allowed me to sing, but it's it's okay. Um, no, I I feel like I'm in a good place, but I'm also because I'm so African. I feel like it's not even enough. Like I feel like I'm just getting started. Mm. Like I'm just I'm just scratching the surface, and so I have that leave nothing on the court kind of mentality. It's mm-hmm. like what's next? Writing a book, bro. I got to talk to you. Like how? This process is so daunting, but mm-hmm. it's just like, well, I'm going to do it. I was like, because others have done it before me, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it the best. All right. What's um, the book going to be about? Uh, it's going to be, it's, it's it's like personal and also uh, relational in terms of like with God and how like God like ruins every plan you thought that you had. And he's like, oh, that's that's But not ruins. Oh, it ruins in the best way. Okay. Like, they always ru- say your good plan is not God's plan for you. Absolutely. Right. Like, it's like you you plan it and it's like, and he laughs at it. He's like, oh, that's the best you could do. Because mm-hmm. when the Bible says, like eyes have not seen nor ears heard. It's like if you can Come see it. I mean, for real talk, if you can see it, it's mm-hmm. like, well, I told you that I was gonna do stuff that you can't even see or imagine or think of. So why did you think that that was gonna be good enough? Because right. I got some stuff you can't even imagine. And so that's the scripture I'm wearing on my back right now with that Jeremiah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I have on, I'm I'm twenty nine and eleven. I there see you. You, you, you just trying to show the muscles because my man is here. Is this okay, babe? I, you, you, you got better muscles. <laughs> he just trying to flex on his toes, <laughs> baby. I'm not looking at his back. No. He giggled at y'all. He's like, <laughs> Uh, baby, please. you played in the Here's league. the size you, of my penis. You, I'm, please, knock it I off. I wouldn't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm you always take it awkward. Like, why is Charlamagne? We were just talking about God. Oh, you're just, right. You're right. I'm sorry. God know my heart. Penis, you know, God. <laughs> not as a visual out there and people trying to figure out. No. I just, oh, when last time Issa was here, she put us on the term we never even heard before. What? Big dick energy. Yes. Oh, you yeah. You couldn't wait mm-hmm. to say that. <laughs> wow, no hesitation. Envy like, was just, like, yeah, yeah, wow. because cause she was actually talking about me. You no, been feeling it, huh? Envy, I you, don't. You feeling it coming from the corner over there? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> This is getting awkward. This is getting it's awkward, all man. the awkward. And that, that's no, all like, I where is it? Let me put you down there now. Gosh. Baby, you better, you better walk out right. You better walk out right because they're going to be watching to see if you got that kind of energy. <laughs> Keep that same energy, baby. <laughs> This is uncomfortable. This is why I need oh, Angela. Angela, girl, where are you? Stop <laughs> this. Girl, I'm just going to talk to your computer. I know, right? This is crazy. They put us on. I never heard of the term. I was, you know. So now you, you change your walk up? I can't. <laughs> you got it or you don't. <laughs> but you know what? Issa was like, you know, you know when you got that confidence? I'm like, no, I don't know. I have no but your idea. wife loves you for you. <laughs> and that's <laughs> finally, finally. He tell us about the story. House. Did you just snort? Did you just, uh, <laughs> just snort? It? Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You know, she's still riding with you, and that's all that matters. He used to try to put, you know, cream on it to oh, try to make it bigger. Like, mm. he, he had problems. Wow. Oh, well, why do you know this? I have questions. Oh. I don't know. Y'all look really close. That's that light skin energy. That's 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 what that is. That's 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 what that is. Oh man, do you feel like marriage is overrated? Uh, no. I know that I, seems like a random question. I'm like, yeah, I was, like, where's this coming from? No, I mean, I, for me, I aspire to be married. Mm-hmm. So I think marriage is beautiful. I think marriage is work, and I think you got to work it for it to work. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think marriage is two people dying to self daily mm-hmm. um, and just being naked before each other. Like, this is me, flaws and all. This is you, flaws mm-hmm. and all. Let's, let's rock with it. Because I, I always wonder about career women like yourself. Do you have time for that? I mean, you make time for what's important to you. Mm. Um, and, you know, even with um, E and I, it's like he's just as busy as I am. And it's like we have to, 
it's different. But I applaud him because there are so many guys that are afraid, if you will, to get with a chick like me and all the all the mm-hmm. beautiful brown girls who are now finding themselves in the positions to be worker bees and to be boss chicks and are like, ah, I don't want that. That's that's just too much. That's right. too much energy. I don't want her emasculating me or demasculating me. And it's just like for the real dudes who are like, I'm confident, I'm secure in my own. This is still a challenge, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it's like, but let's let's figure it out because at the end of the day, what's worth it? You know, mm-hmm. I, I I've always looked forward to submitting or letting the guy be the guy. Mm-hmm. But even with me, it's like, oh, that's a process because I've been grinding so long on my own, and then it's just like, oh, now I have to consider somebody. Mm-hmm. And that switch takes a little bit to. But when you do it, and you see the rewards. You're like, oh, let me let me do that often. Yeah, any, any concern with, with, with you know, the social media and, and expressing who your man is and your relationship out there? I mean, I'm still tempered. It, it, I look at it like this. You know, like how they used to have testimony service at church? It's like, you know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. when you going through, everybody knows, oh, man, you know, my car don't work. You know, mm-hmm. I, I would really need five dollars. Everybody know your struggle. Everybody right. know, like, oh, Sister So-and-so needs three dollars. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the bake sale. And then when Sister So-and-so gets blessed, it would behoove her to not share that and be like, man, yeah, I was really struggling. God blessed me, and he came through in such a major way. Mm. So for me, so many people knew about me being single, and I was fine with it because it's like, no, I'm, I'm single. I'm still happy. I'm, wait, I'm doing all these things. So at the moment where I feel like God has blessed me with somebody that I can truly build with, it's like, yo, I'm going to let you all know because for somebody, somebody might need that moment of hope to be like, are there any good guys out there? I'm mm. like, yes, girl, I found me one. And he got a brother, but that brother is married, but I'm sure he got cousins somewhere. But it's like the same way I found him and it came into my life in such a a beautiful surprise, mm-hmm. if you will. Girl, God works. But you, I mean, you're always transparent, so you kind of got to show that too. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I, I'm still like reserved in how much I share. It's, gotcha. You know, because it's like sometimes people feel like now we have full authority to know everything about you. It's like everybody calm down, but it's like I'm a share. Um, and there are things that I'll keep private as well because it's like you still have to respect the other person and you're still growing and you want your relationship to be a sacred space to a certain extent. Have you introduced them to mother and father yet? No. They are aware that there is a special guy. Got you. They are aware. And they're super happy. Got you. So they haven't met him yet, not even on WhatsApp. My mom... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> not on right now, they, you'll know when everything goes down. There will be a goat with, in my house. Just, we I got out here today. Oh, Jesus is Lord. Like it'll just be like random celebrations. You're like, why is there a herd of sheep just walking? So I, I'm looking forward to that. Do Africans really look down on Black American people? No, I think Africans. I would say specifically for Nigerians. Nigerians are proud for people. We look down on other Nigerians. So it's not even, and it's not even that we're looking down. We're just always looking up. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not in our purview, Mm. uh, we don't see you. That's a word. So it's it's perspective shift. And so for us, like I I tell people all the time, like, because it used to be like when I would meet other African Americans, like they would know nothing about me. Like, oh, so you African? So what you think you better than us? (laughs) And I'd be like, listen, man. We think we better than everybody. Because my father yeah. would be like, if the black man does it, do it better. If the white man does it, surpass him. If the Asian man does it, finish him. It's just like, okay. Like, that's like the household I grew up in. It's mm-hmm. like nobody's your competition except for the person that you're trying to advance over. So it's just like, who is in your purview? Get them out. Like, why are mm-hmm. they even there? Like, why did you even give them an opportunity to be better than you? That's the mentality you should have, though. And so that's why I'd be tripping when people were like, oh, so you smart? Yes. Yes, yes, I worked mm-hmm. hard to be smart. Like, getting a B, I would cry because my mom would literally be like, so the person who got an A, what were they doing? And why were you not doing it? You're like, I don't know. They just know math better than me, mom. Damn. But it was just like, that's unacceptable. We have done, we came over here and gave you opportunities, so do better. And it was like, you, you're you not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think I think to have the the perspective of, do you think you better? Or do you think It's just like, no, I just, I'm just trying to be my best. And if everybody had the I'm trying to be my best mentality, we wouldn't be worried about who thinks they're better or not. Gotcha. Yeah, that's just how I feel about that. You in night school too, right? I'm in night, night school, school coming out this this month, September 28th. 28th. Man, that was so much fun. I was taping that, yeah. Tiffany and Kevin are foolish. We know. Separately. <laughs> yeah. And then and then together, it's just like, are we ever going to make our day? Are we ever going to actually finish this shot? Um, but it was so much fun just to watch them and be in that environment of just, seen two people 
living their living literally their best lives mm-hmm. and then being part of that and then everybody gets to live this journey and just dream together. It's fun. Y'all gonna y'all gonna laugh. Where did y'all tape it? In Atlanta. In Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that was fun too. What's the difference between TV and film for you at this point? <sighs> I mean, I think TV allows you to like create a character and to elongate that process and to build and to have arcs and all of that uh beautiful process. Film is is like this is it. Like we're telling a story mm-hmm. open and closed. Um but there are different feels and different it's like theater is different too because it's like li- like right. comedy is different for me too because I know immediately after I drop the mic like that was that was a good show mm-hmm. or like I got to do better tomorrow bro like you know I felt my energy waning around the 30 mark or like whatever so you get that immediate satisfaction um I think film takes longer like it takes a whole like year <laughs> for uh that joint to come out but I love them equally cuz it's like I love creating I love becoming somebody new and uh, transforming into the richness of these characters. And I, I want to do a lot. I want to do action films. I want to do drama. Um, you know, keep it moving. Now, the struggle mm-hmm. that Molly is going through on this show, have you ever experienced that in, in like... Explain in the working, people struggle if they don't watch Well, it's the working environment of, like, mm-hmm. I guess, trying to fit in, so to speak, feeling like you're being boxed out by the other girls. Yeah, you know, I think Molly had... Women, I'm sorry. Uh, Molly was is is not sure of a lot of things, right? Mm-hmm. So when she's at the predominantly white firm, it's like you're the the token Negro, you're mm-hmm. the magical black person, and it's like nobody wants to feel like that. But there's some perks that come with that because mm-hmm. like you're almost giving the Caucasians at the office a learning of blackness. It's like uh, giving them your community. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like well we know this because uh, Molly told us this is acceptable, right? Or Molly has conditioned and trained us to know that like you should have straight hair at work. And so when Dada comes, you know, in season one, it's just like, she got braids. She's a little, ah, she talks a little different. We're not familiar with this kind of black person. Mm-hmm. Cut two, Molly is now in a position where she's not the magical Negro. Mm-hmm. She's like every other Negro because every uh, everybody there went to school, went to good schools, did their job enough to be at this firm. And so now what's your, what's your superpower? Because mm-hmm. it's not being black no more. Mm-hmm. That's not enough. And I think she's trying to be like, ah, this is different. And of course, and you know, even with everything that's going on, like her comparing the black firm to the white firm is like, girl, you already know, like most black things are at a disadvantage. If you look at like the endowments of like Howard versus, and I went to GW and it's like versus the GW, it's like, they're not gonna have the same endowment, mm-hmm. but if you look at what Howard has produced and who Howard has produced mm-hmm. with the limited resources that they do have. And I think to be able to, it, it's like, Black people have had an advantage over us. So, like, yes, they are going to have DocuSign Molly or they are going to do things. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to, I mean, not to say that the black firm can't get DocuSign, but it's like they are going to have Docu- different things. DocuSign? That, I mean, that's like $20 a month, y'all. Real talk, y'all should get DocuSign. <laughs> this is not a, a promo for DocuSign, but like, yeah. y'all, stop. Like, it's free. It's, 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 I love it. I thought that was regular. This, that was, <laughs> that's because you on PJs. You, you getting PJs sent for you, so everything's regular. Everything is regular for you. Oh but, man! Yeah, so she, I think she got a go to in a second. So I know. So I'm just I telling, know. You, I'm telling you, she was wrapping up a thought. I know. <laughs> I love your. Uh, I have a New York Times bestseller book <laughs> voice now. She, she was wrapping up a thought. <laughs> he, he he made sure that team was set a thought. <laughs> yeah, he worked okay. on that one. He worked on that okay. one in the mirror. <laughs> This right, you 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 went to Peabody oh, too. Like, she was wrapping up a thought. One day, I, I hope. feel like he had a robe on that we didn't see it. He tied it <laughs> with a cigar in his head. But it's all right, we can't see it. But that's if that's, it's in God's plan. One day, that, why not? Yes, it's a lot of things in God's plan. A hundred percent. But you, you just can't talk about God and then your penis at the same sentence. I just feel like <laughs> I feel like he's like that wasn't my plan, and then you disrupted it because <laughs> because now heaven don't know what to do. My goodness. <laughs> Oh, uh, Yvonne Orgy, y'all. We thank you for joining <laughs> us, Yvonne. That's how, how, how we go. That's how we go. I know we ain't on the penis, but, you know, we, we appreciate that's you for joining a, us. Yo, you said I, what? Shut up. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. What? What? Did you hear what he just said? I No, I didn't. Like, I, I don't want to. I said, y'all ended on a penis. No, you said, I didn't want to end on a penis. You know what? Forget it. Yvonne Orgy, we wow. appreciate you, you know for joining what? us. You know what? Angela, come back! <laughs> Angela, I needed you. Angela in Africa trying to find you, find her one of them. Hey, let's hey. <laughs> and Buck, who's out there, girl? If you just go west, because I don't know what's going on in South Africa, but go west. Go west. <laughs> it's the go. Breakfast Club. It's Yvonne Orgy. <laughs>